Hi everyone and welcome to another arts and crafts class online with me Vanessa from the Craft Corner. Today I'm going to show you all about how to make your own spray booth and do some spray painting. So you can make some really cool spray painted artwork. Here's just some examples. Um, you can even spray paint labels which when you peel them off look really cool as well. So Lots of different projects you can do from this one simple technique. I'm going to go through the materials we need and we're going to get started. So for today's project you need a bucket. This is an old paint bucket. The bigger the bucket, the bigger the piece you'll be able to spray. We need some paints. I just use ordinary Mr. paints. An old spray bottle that's been cleaned out. A scissors. Some white paper. A cloth and some cardboard big enough to make a lid. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a lid for our spray booth. So put your bucket down, trace around and put that out. Now you don't have to have a lid but I just find it helps keep the paint inside the bucket and it also adds to the element of surprise. Now when you cut it out then you need to make a hole in the middle. So get a marker and trace a hole big enough about the size of my fist. Get an adult to help you with this part if you need it but if you cut out from the center to the edges kind of like you're making a pizza slice and then when you've got them into smaller pieces you can cut around it'll make it a little bit easier but if you can't do it just ask your mum or dad to help you with it. If you want, you can put a little bit of tape on this as well, but you can just leave it like that. It's fine. So you get your empty spray bottle. Make sure it's nice and clean. No chemical left in it. And pour in about a fingerful of water. So about that much. Not, more than, not much more than that, okay? Then get your paint. I'm going to use a blue paint. And pour in a good amount of blue paint, a good squeeze, you can see it in there. So this part's just experimentation, you're figuring out what works. Put in a little bit of paint and then add a little bit more and keep going until you have the right amount. Shake it all up. Then put your paper. paper in. Mine's a bit big so I just need to cut that. I'm going to cut it here. <clears throat> put that in. Put your lid on top. Get your bottle, shake it again and spray in. in. Now when you do this the first time, the first few sprays will just be water and then the paint will start to come up. So spray down and you'll see a really cool blue pattern coming up. Now I always do less is better here. You can always come back and add more to it. Like for example, this one, put it in. Get a really cool blue pattern on it. I'm gonna do the same for this one. I'm gonna just clean this out. And spray some cool blue over that. So there you go, there is your lesson on how to do some really simple spray painting and happy crafting. So I hope you've enjoyed that spray painting project. Like I say, it's a super simple project. I recommend doing it outside in the garden so you're not worried too much about mess. If you're doing it inside, just make sure that you have some paper on the ground and have fun. Enjoy the creativity.